اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم الحمد للہ رب العالمین والصلاة والسلام على اشرف الانبیاء والمرسلین وعلى علی طیبین الطاحین اما بعد اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم فما ارسلناک الا رحمت للعالمین ان اللہ و ملائکته یسلون علی النبی یا ایوہ الذین آمنوا صلو علیہ وسلموا تسبیما اللہم صلی و سلیم بارک اللہ سیدنا محمد و علی آل سیدنا محمد کما صلیت و سلمت و بارکت علی سیدنا ابراہیم و علی سیدنا ابراہیم فی العالمین انکا حمید مجید عدد خلق کردہ نفسی فزینہ تعاشی کمیل علی کلماتی کی محمد سے وفاتو نے تو ہم تیرے ہیں یہ جہاں چیز ہے کہ اللہ و قلم تیرے ہیں سب سے اولا و علی ہمارا نبی سب سے بالا و علی ہمارا نبی خلق سے اولیاء اولیاء سے رسول اور رسولوں سے اعلیٰ ہمارا نبی اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم ربی شرعی صدری وسیر علی عمری وحلو لغتت من لسان فوق علی Respected brothers and sisters in Islam السلام علیکم ورحمت اللہ وبرکاتہ الحمدللہ today is the 14th session of our of this سیرہ سیریز which we are talking about the early years of Islam and we learn from uh, the, you know, the previous uh, this last week's uh, uh, lecture that how the period of torture came into uh, uh, the people of uh, Islam and especially Sidna Khabba, Sidna Bilal, uh, Sidna Ammar, Sidna Yasir, Sidna uh, Sumayya, Subhanallah, and uh, uh, Suhaib Ibn Sinan and Hadrat uh, Zinira and there are so many mashallah beautiful personalities and we have talked about their life briefly and someone asked me about the Sahabi uh, what exactly Sahabi means inshallah we will talk what exactly the Sahabi means but you know the people who are accepting Islam during these periods until uh, Sulay Hudaybiyah they are for sure the Sahabi inshallah we will talk uh, when we get to that uh, so instead of uh, you know jumping around and that is kind of uh, uh, distraction and uh, please forgive me. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa 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 ala Sayyidina Muhammad Last week we talked about the atrocities and ill treatment of the people of Quraysh towards the uh, people of belief, uh, towards the Muslimin, and uh, we should know that uh, uh, if Subhanallah, if Allah wants, uh, 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 I mean like uh, if Allah, uh, the Most Jalaluhu, had so will, He would. Uh, uh, have made it easy for the religion of Islam to grow and spread and uh, he would not have allowed any of the Muslims to suffer any pain or torture, right? So, subhanAllah, however, the, the sincerity, the ikhlas and the tr struggle of those who made sacrifices for this religion uh, would not have come to light. Then, uh, then uh, 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 we would not have been able to distinguish uh, between the believer and the hypocrite, nor between the truthful and the liar. Allah. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, says, Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala sinna wa ala Muhammad wa barik wa sallim, that Hasiba nas an yat, an yutraku, an yaqulu, amanna wa hum la yuftanun. Do uh, people think that they will be left alone on saying, uh, we have believed and they will not be tested, and they will not go through trials. Then Allah says, uh, uh, that was uh, Surah Al-Ankabut, uh, uh, verse uh, 29, and then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in other place says that, وَلَقَدْ فَتَنَّ الَّذِينَ مِنْ قَبْلِهِمْ فَلَا يَعْلَمَنَّ اللَّهُ هُوَ الَّذِينَ صَدَقُوا وَلَا يَعْلَمَنَّ الْكَاذِبِينَ And surely we have, we tried also, those who were before them, certainly Allah shall make the prominent means through trial, who are truthful in claiming belief and shall make uh, 
known the liars as well. Allahu Akbar. And in other places, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that, Am hasibtum an tadkhulu al-jannata wa lamma ya'lami allahu al-lazina jahadu minkum wa ya'lamu al-sabirin wa ya'lamu al-sabirin. Allahu Akbar. Means, do you assume that uh, you will enter paradise without any good? Whereas Allah has not tested those of you who strive and uh, uh, and, uh, and and before He has distinguished the steadfast Allah So the, the 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 path of truth is paved with the tough trials, such as uh, how the Almighty Allah Subhanahu wa Taala has uh, built it. All pro uh, prophets, so salawat Allahi wa and the persons of virtue. Uh, may Allah be pleased with them, have suffered and uh, some have been martyred for the, the cause. SubhanAllah, Allah Ma'akbar Rahimahullah, Rahimahullah said that ye shahadat gahe ulfat mein qadam rakhna hai. Log aasaan samajhte hai musalma ho. SubhanAllah means uh, ye shahadat. If you believe uh, shahada means reciting kalma shahada, shadun la ilaha illa wa shadun la muhammad al rasul, then it means you are entering the world of uh, the love Ulfat, Allahu Akbar. And people think that it is easy to become a Muslim. Allahu Akbar. And uh, it is uh, therefore not right for a Muslim to fall into despair. Like now immediately huna chahiye. And when faced with, the, with the difficulties. On the contrary, Muslims ought to know that the more trouble they endure in the way of realizing the command of the compassionate, the more quickly they will attain Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's mercy. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa barik wa sallam. So the, during this period, Allah Akbar, the blessed Prophet Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam uh, was after all human beings saddened by the, uh, by the negative attitude uh, he met with uh, and, uh, and grieved by the ugly behavior of those he was striving to guide. He went through such difficult times, Allah Akbar, that uh, he needed to be, uh, to be uh, comforted, Allah Akbar. So his comfort and support came from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, who did not want his messenger to be overcome with grief. Inna fadlahu kana alayka kabira. His means Allah's favor upon you, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, have been, have been very great, Allah Akbar. وَمَنْ كَفَرَ فَلَا يَحْزُنْكَ كُفْرُهُ Allah Akbar And whoever disbelieves, O Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallama, let not his disbelief grieve you, Allah Akbar. إِلَيْنَا مَرْجِهُمْ فَنُنَبِّئُهُمْ بِمَا عَمِلُوا Allah Akbar They too are to return to us. We shall inform them of the deeds which they used to do. إِنَّ اللَّهَ عَلِمُ بِدَاتِ السُّدُورِ Allah Akbar Means Surely Allah knows best the hidden contents of the uh, of the sudur means uh, best Allah Akbar. Tumatti'uhum qalilan summa nad tarruhum ila aza bin qaliz Allah Akbar. We shall provide them a little benefit in the world. Then making them helpless, we shall drive them towards the severe torment Allah Akbar. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was uh, does uh, um, Reassuring his messenger, advising to, uh, advising him to be a uh, patient. And uh, in one place, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says, "Fasbir ala ma yaqulun, wa sabbih bihamdi Rabbika, qabla tulu'i shamsi wa qabla ghurub." Surah Al-Qaf, Surah verse 39. So be patient with what they say, and glorify your Lord, your Rabb, with praise before sunrise and after sunset. Yani uh, fajr. Uh, between the time of Fajr and uh, uh, Zuhr or, uh, or Asr, Allah Akbar. So his determination is uh, strengthened uh, by these ayah. The Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Ta'ala Wasallama was easing the pain of his companions and mending their broken hearts, Allah Akbar. Imam Bukhari uh, recorded the hadith, uh, uh, and the hadith number is 6943 from uh, Sayyidina Khabab ibn al-Arth radiallahu ta'ala that uh, he said we complained to Allah's uh, messenger Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam about our state while uh, he was uh, leaning against uh, 
uh, his sheet uh, cloak uh, in the shade of the Kaaba. We said, will you ask Allah to help us? Will you invoke Allah for us? And then Rasulullah said, among those who were before you uh, as a believer, used to seize and a pit used to be uh, uh, dug uh, for him and he used to uh, be placed in it. Then, uh, uh, then Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam then uh, uh, saw, used to like uh, uh, used to be brought and put on his head which would be split into hell, Allah Akbar. His flesh might be combed with iron combs and removed from his bones, Allah Akbar. Yet all that uh, did not cause him to revert from his religion. By Allah, the religion of Islam will be completed with triumph till a rider, means the traveler, goes from Sana'a, means the capital of Yemen, uh, to Hadramaut, fearing nobody except Allah and the wolf, lest it, uh, it should uh, trouble his sheep. Allah, but you are impatient. Allah. Then the Prophet Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam uh, recited uh, the, the verse that La uh, يَغُرَّنَّكَ تَقَلُّبُ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا بِالْبَلَدِ Means all servants of Allah, the roaming about uh, of the disbelievers in the cities with luxurious, uh, uh, luxurious, uh, uh, what do you call the riches, should not cause you any impression. You don't get impressed with them. Like they are traveling in a great uh, 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 manner. But Allah then, personal, uh, then He says, مَتَاعٌ قَلِيلٌ ثُمَّ مَأَوَاهُمْ جَهَنَّمْ وَبِئَسَ الْمِحَادِ Allah Akbar A brief enjoyment, then their abode is hell. What a miserable resort, resort Allah Akbar. And then Allah says, لَكِنَ الَّذِينَ اتَّقُوا رَبَّهُمْ لَهُمْ جَنَّاتٌ تَدْرِي مِنْ تَحْتِيَ الْأَنْهَارُ خَوَالِدِينَ فِيهَا نُذْرًا مِنْ عِنْدَ اللَّهِ وَمَا عِنْدَ اللَّهِ خَيْرٌ لِلْأَبْرَاءِ But those who persist in fearing their Lord for them, there are gardens beneath which rivers flow there will, uh, Allah Akbar, they reside uh, forever. Uh, this is the hospitality for them from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his chamber of proximity, luster of uh, uh, his beauty and the, and, and the blessing of, uh, uh, of union with him in, in, in some Allah Akbar. Whatever there is with uh, Allah is excellent for the pious. So as the, uh, the idol, idolaters, Allah Akbar, um, pers persecution caused or, 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 or increased. So this ayah of the, these ayah of the kind served to console the hearts of the believer. This is how it should be. And in this sense, together with the drawing uh, the person closer to the Creator, severe test and hardship served as divine scales, measuring the trust and submission of believers in their Lord, Allah Akbar, the, the most uh, fitting attitude for Muslims to display in times like uh, these is uh, uh, subhanallah mentioned in uh, in the Quran such as the Surah Al-Insan verses 24 through 26 that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says So continue to be patient for the sake of your Allah's uh, for your uh, Lord's command Allah and do not give your ear to any liar, sinner or disbeliever or thankless person from among them because they can come and instigate you right hey you are Muslim see nothing is happening Allah is not doing but this is the just wait for Allah's hukum Allah is going to send down something better for you and remember the name of your Lord morning and evening and prostrate do sajda yourself before his presence for some hours of the night and glorify him during the rest of the long hours of the night. So it was certain for a Muslim who heard this instruction to become content at her heart and, 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 and acquire strength and patience to, uh, to bear suffering of all kinds. SubhanAllah, especially uh, the Tahajju Salat performed at night served to bring the believer closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and grant the soul with so much strength uh, that the truth become fixed uh, uh, in, in the heart. And uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in uh, uh, Quran, Surah Al-Muzammil, that Allah says that in the nashiyat al-layli hiya ashaddu wa aqwa muqila. 
the vigil of night means the tahajjud, the, the, the night watch, is more effective uh, to what? To, to the ill commanding self and better suited for uh, recitation with the concentration of uh, head and heart. Make sure that your brain and, uh, and heart are synced together, what we are reciting, what uh, heart is accepting and what the uh, brain is uh, commanding to the, to the limbs. Allah Akbar. Although the command to perform tahajjud is, is directly exclusive to the Prophet Muhammad and incumbent upon him only, nonetheless, uh, you know, it is uh, something uh, the rest of his sunnah can do if they wish according to their capacities. The, the same goes for the rest of the other forms of superiority, uh, what you call that uh, uh, extra worship that have been used for the pious to the extent it uh, aids the, the, the spiritual progress, Allah Akbar. When the calamities falls, we should engage ourselves in zikr and fikr, means remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and contemplation. That, you know, we are Muslim, this is what Quran is saying and what we should be doing. Now we are going through this tough time, how Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa tackled those things. This is something that we should be talking, do fikr through Quran, not through fikr from Nauzubillah, satanic instigation, Allahu Akbar. So, subhanAllah, uh, now let's come to the, the, the reality that a short time before the, in the history of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, that uh, a short, like uh, before the pilgrimage, like before the Hajj, a group of uh, the Quraysh men met with uh, Walid ibn Mughayra. Uh, he was so-called honored man among them who said to them that, oh community of Quraysh, it is time for the reason and the Arabs uh, delegation will come having heard about the affair of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that he claimed to be the Prophet Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and he brings uh, the commands from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So you should agree on saying one thing concerning him and uh, do not differ in case you contradict with, uh, with each other. Means just say the same thing against him, Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So, Nauzubillah, they were like planning to say one thing against the Prophet It's a very beautiful thought. So, they uh, say, Oh, Abdul Shams, uh, Walid bin Mughayra, suggest to us something to say about him, something against him, that we should all be saying one thing against the Prophet Then Walid uh, said, no, uh, uh, just uh, present what you have to me. Then they said, let us claim that he's uh, a soothsayer, like... Uh, 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 like a fortune teller, Kahin. So Walid said, no, by Allah, he's not a soothsayer. He's not a fortune teller. We have seen the way of soothsayers and his words have neither the murmurs nor the rhymes of the soothsayer, Allah. Then they said, then let us say that uh, he is possessed by jinn. Then <laughs> Walid says, no, Allah, by, by Allah, he is not possessed by madness because of jinn. We have seen and known those possessed ones and uh, and Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam the words are not like their whispers, Allah Akbar. Then they say, let us uh, claim that he is a poet. Then Wali say, no by Allah, he is not a poet. We have, not, we have uh, known uh, all kinds of poetry and uh, his words are not poetry at all. Then they say, let us claim that he is a sorcerer, like a magician. Then, Walid said to them, No, by Allah, he's not a sorcerer. We have seen sorcerers and their sorceries, and his words are not, Mr. Muhammad his words are not the product of blowing knots. Allahu Akbar. Then they said, What should we claim about him, O Abu Abdul Shams al Walid? What should we say? Then he said, By Allah, his statement is sweet tasting uh, root and, 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 and branch. And if we say anything of what you have suggested, it would be known that your claim is false. Anyway, the nearest suggestion is to claim that he is the sorcerer, Allah, magician, who brought his speech which is sorcery, by which he divides the son from his father, the brother from his uh, brother, the husband from his wife, and the, the man from his clan. So they left him uh, with consensus. Uh, like uh, to do so and sat on the ways where the people would pass and none came upon them but they warned him and 
made a mention of his matter. Like a long time back when I went to Hajj, I received some of the pamphlets. They were saying against Allah Akbar and Sunnah Al-Jamaah that what they do is wrong. It reminds this kind of uh, 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 discussion that they had. Anyway, uh, those uh, men, uh, what they did was uh, the, the young men, they, they dispersed all over the different parts of the Makkah, publicizing such a false claim about the Messenger of Allah, Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu Ta'ala Alaihi Wa Sallam and his message he brought from Allah Almighty. So this season, the Arab returned carrying the news of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, whose mention is spread in the Arab land. So in connection with the uh, Walid bin Mughaira, Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala revealed the verses from like uh, 11 to, uh, to 26 uh, uh, of Surah Al-Muddassir that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says Zarni wa man wahida Leave me, Allah says, to take the revenge on him whom I have created lonely Is it? Muhammad, leave it to me I'm going to take care of that Wa ja'altu ma tu lahu malan mamduda and I provided him wealth in abundance wa banina shuhuda and gave him sons remaining present before him and granted him affluence in source of luxury. See, that's what happened. They, they do it. When they are, they are luxurious, they try to uh, do uh, strange stuff, Allah Akbar, against the command of Allah. So then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that, Summa yatma'u an azid, yet he desired that I should give him more. Kalla innahu kana la'ayatina anida. No way he has certainly been inimical uh, to our uh, revelation. Sa'urhiquhu Sa'uda, Allah Akbar. And that uh, soon I will afflict him with the punishment of uh, a severe uh, a toil. And innahu fakkara wa qaddara. Surely he reflected and devised a scheme uh, in his heart. Wa qutila kaifa qaddara. Allah Akbar. Let Allah's curse be to him. How he schemed. Summa. قُتِلَ كَيْفَ قَدَّرَهُ Let again Allah wow, curse, to, curse be to him. Uh, how he uh, is keen, uh, and then, then he poured over his scheme, summa nawara again, and then summa abasa wa basara, then he frowned and twisted his face, summa atbara wa takbara, then he turned back and showed arrogance. SubhanAllah, this is, uh, these are the verses that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed against those people who go against the Prophet. And this is what happened. Although Walid bin Mughaira and others were killed and uh, uh, and they were ill-treated by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, means they were treated uh, in just from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you know, uh, mentioned in Quran before it happened to them. And in connection with those who were with uh, Walid and uh, suggested many claims to attribute to the Quran and distort the, the, what was revealed upon the Prophet Sina Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala and then mentioned Kama anzalna ala al-muqtasimeen the torment that we sent down upon the dividers Allah Alladzina ja'alu al-Qur'an a'ideen those who divided the Quran into pieces and his spirit that is except favorable, favorable uh, verses but reject, rejected the others this is what happening nowadays too okay but anyway, فَرَبِّكَ لَنَسْأَلَنَّهُمْ أَجْمَعِينَ So by your Lord, we shall indeed interrogate them uh, all. Allah Akbar. So some malicious disbelievers, uh, the, the, the names of the disbelievers of Makkah who had extreme enmity and malice towards the Holy Prophet Muhammad that uh, has been mentioned in the in the book of uh, the uh, the seerah number one like abu lahab he was the one of the the mocker uh, uh, not abu jahal was the mocker abu lahab abu jahal aswad bin uh, abd yaghus haris bin qais bin adi walid bin mughaira umayya ibn khalaf uh, uh, ubay ibn khalaf uh, uh, ubay ibn faq kiha abu sufyan as bin wail Nadr ibn Haris, uh, Munabih ibn, ibn al-Hajjaj, uh, Zuhair ibn Abi uh, Umayyah, uh, Su'ayb, Sa'ib ibn Saifi, Adi ibn Hamra, Aswad ibn uh, Abdul Asad, As ibn Sa'id ibn al-As, Uqba ibn Abi Mu'ayt, uh, 
Hakam ibn As Wail. So these are or a couple more. Uh, so for them, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala reveal uh, the verse of seven of Yasin al Shari Yasin uh, that Allah Subhanahu wa Taala said, "Laqal haqqal qawlu ala aqsirin fum la yuminu." In fact, our command has proved true against uh, most of them, so they will not believe. That Allah Subhanahu wa Taala means the, the, that is uh, means the divine command, the eternal judgment have been issued. Uh, on their torment by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala which Allah declared their uh, persist, persistence and disbelief that the majority of them who are involved in against the Prophet of Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam will never accept Islam the majority Allah the word of uh, your, uh, your Lord is final I will fill hell with the jinn and humans altogether Subhanallah. So this is the atrocities that has been mentioned. So Sayyidina Abu Talib radiallahu ta'ala anhu, the beloved of the Prophet Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, feared that the Arabs would follow his people in forsaking him. Abu Talib said his uh, famous poem in which he sought refuge with the sanctuary of Makkah and his good position in it and, uh, and prompted the loving affection of the chief of the, uh, of the people telling them and all the Arabs that he would never relinquish or, or, or uh, abandon uh, the Messenger of Allah until he would die in defense of the Prophet Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu He also praised the Messenger of Allah and described him as the honest and, and uh, subhanAllah truthful person who never uh, told a lie nor betrayed and, what, uh, and, and that what uh, he brought is true not false. Therefore, this did not mean that he would not protect and defend him against any harm he might receive. Allah And then he also said uh, that uh, 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 means uh, we will not give Muhammad to you all idolaters or kuffar until we die around him. And be mindful of our wives, and uh, and be unmindful of our wives and uh, children. It means you have to walk on our dead bodies to reach to Prophet Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu taala wasallam. We will not hand over Muhammad to you, or disbelievers. Subhanallah. Yani hamari lashon pe se guzarna padega sir Muhammad tak pahunchne ke liye sallallahu. That's what Abu Talib said. So he described him uh, in one place. In the same uh, Qasida is a long one which is recorded by Imam Ibn Hisab, the great Tabai, uh, Subhanallah, uh, that he, uh, uh, Abi Talib mentioned him as a white complexion with the whose face the cloud would be, uh, would be sort of for rain, uh, being the one who used to console the orphans and look after the widows. So, in connection with that description, Ibn Ishaq, uh, uh, Rahimahullah, radiallahu anhu, relates from a reliable chain. That the people of Medina once uh, suffered, although like it happened later, from uh, drought. Uh, thereupon, they made a complaint to, uh, of that to the Prophet Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu Taala Alaihi wa alihi wa sallam, and asked him to pray for to pray to Allah Subhanahu wa Taala for rain. So the Messenger of Allah ascended uh, uh, the, the pulpit and said, "Oh Allah, bless us with rain." By Allah, uh, the Sahaba said, that "By Allah, there was no trace of cloud." In, uh, in the sky and suddenly the sky became overcast with the clouds and it started raining subhanAllah. The Prophet Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam dismounted of, the, of his uh, blessed pulpit and offered the prayer. When he came back from the prayer uh, to, the, to, to, to his house, it was raining. It rained continuously till the next Friday when the Prophet Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam started Delivering the, the Friday uh, khutbah, the people shouted saying to him, Ya Rasulullah, the houses have collapsed and the roads are cut off because of the abundant uh, uh, rain. So please pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to withhold the ruin. So the Prophet said, Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam, subhanahu wa ta'ala alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam, he smiled and he said, Allahumma hawa alayna wa la alayna. O oh Allah, make it. Uh, uh, make it round about us and not uh, on us. So the sky became clear over Medina, but it kept raining over the outskirts, outskirts of Madinatul Munawwara, and no single drop of rain fell over, 
over Medina. Subhana. So Sahaba said that we looked towards the sky, Allahu Akbar, which was a bright and clear uh, as a crown. Subhana. So commenting on that, the Messenger of Allah said that Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam said, Law adraka Abu Talib in hadha al-yawm ila sallahu. Had Abu Talib uh, been uh, alive, he would have been pleased with that. Allah Akbar. One of uh, his companion, a sahabi radiallahu ta'ala said, Ya Rasulullah, perhaps you mean uh, uh, Abu Talib saying, وَأَبْيَدُ يُسْتَسْقَ الْغَمَامُ بِوَجْهِهِ تِمَالُ الْيَتَامَ عِسْمَةٌ لِلْعَرَامِلِ means oh you say he Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam is so beautiful with white complexion with whose face the clouds are south for rain uh, being the person who always consoles the, the orphans and looks after the widows the messenger of Allah Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam uh, answered in the uh, in the uh, affirmative and this hadith is required by Imam Bukhari, Imam Muslim, Abi Dawood in his Sunan and Nasai in his Sunan, Ibn Majia. Subhanallah is a very beautiful so it's just a reminder uh, that one time Rasulullah sallallahu mentioned about Abu Talib Subhanallah and uh, uh, the news of uh, the Messenger of Allah sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alayhi wa spread among the Arabs including the uh, including the, of course, uh, Medina. However, there was no tribe more knowledge, knowledgeable about the affairs of the Messenger of Allah, whether before or after he was mentioned, than those of Aus and Hajrat, uh, Khazraj, the, cl the, the clans in the Medina, because of uh, what they often heard about him from the rabbis of Jews uh, who were their allies and neighbors of Medina. When a, uh, a mention of uh, uh, of a Prophet Sallallahu was made of him in uh, in, in Medina and uh, of uh, the dispute of the Quraysh over him Abu Qais ibn uh, Asla and the brother Banu Waqif who had a strong affection for the Quraysh since his wife belonged to them and he used to stay with her like it, simple as that uh, they, they had a family connection also and uh, they were looking towards that that Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Alaihi Wasallam uh, is going to come and they started preparing so this is something like on the other side of Medina they started uh, trying to contact the Prophet Muhammad when they heard that the Muhammad uh, has declared that he is the Prophet of Allah and he received the revelation from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so this is on the other side but during the sixth year of uh, the declaration of uh, the Nabuwa, uh, Sayyidina Hamza joined the fold of Islam, greatly um, uh, enhancing the prestige and respect of Muslims. Among the uncles of uh, the Holy Prophet Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu Ta'ala Alaihi Wa Alaihi Wasallam, Sayyidina Hamza had a great affection for the Prophet Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu Ta'ala Alaihi Wa Alaihi Wasallam. Uh, Hamza Alaihi Salam was born to uh, two or, uh, or three years before the blessed uh, birth of the Prophet Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam and uh, Sayyidatuna Suwaiba also breastfed Sayyidatuna Hamza ibn Abdul Muttalib and uh, Sayyidina Hamza was also a foster means like Radai uh, Pai means Radai brother uh, of the Prophet Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Sayyidina Hamza was very strong and bold and was very fond of uh, hunting so in the early morning he would go hunting uh, with uh, his bow and arrows and uh, would return in the evening then performing the tawaf of Kaaba. Uh, he, Sayyidina Hamza radiallahu ta'ala would attend the gathering of the leaders of, uh, of uh, Quraysh for a while. One day he returned from the hunting ground as usual and he was informed by the slave girl of Ibn Juda'an and by his own sister Sayyidatuna Sophia radiallahu ta'ala an, uh, radiallahu ta'ala anha that Abu Jahl uh, had uh, insulted and respect, disrespected his nephew Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam this made his blood boil Allah although he believed in Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam he never went against the Prophet Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam like Abu Lahab he stayed quiet although he 
he did not declare his Islam, but some say he already accepted Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam as the Prophet, Allahu Akbar. But this was the time that he had to announce. So when he heard, then like uh, he was uh, not, you know, the Prophet Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was ill-treated by Abu Jahl, immediately he read the Masjid al-Haram with, uh, with his bow and arrow. Uh, and hit Abu Jahl over the head and his uh, bow was so hard that his uh, Abu Jahl's head started uh, bleeding. So he then roared Allah Akbar, you have sworn at my nephew? Don't you know that I'm also a follower of his religion, Allah Akbar? Seeing this, you know, some people from the tribe of Bani Mahzum stood up for Abu Jahl just to protect him. But Abu Jahl uh, suspected that a war might break out with the Bani Hashim. Uh, so he prevented them from fighting with uh, Sayyiduna Sayyid uh, Hamza alayhi salam, saying, Oh Bani Mahzum, the Hamza, I have really sworn at his nephew violently today. So after Sayyiduna, uh, Sayyiduna Hamza radiallahu ta'ala became Muslim, he started citing the the, uh, the couplets that he said, Allah Akbar. Subhanallah, Muhammad Sayyidina Muhammad wa Sayyidina Muhammad wa Barik wa Sallim. Subhanallah. Hamidullah hina hada fawadi fawadi ila islami wa deen il hanif means I glorify Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala at the time when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guided my heart toward Islam and the deen il hanif. I'm just going to recite the translation uh, that uh, when the commandments of Allah are read to us, tears stream from the eyes of uh, uh, perfectly wise, subhanallah. And uh, uh, he further said, Ahmadu Mustafan Fina Muta'un Fala Taghshawhu Bil Qawli Al Anifi means beloved Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Ahmad is leading us. So, all oh, disbelievers do not try to dominate him by uh, by uh, talking nonsense. فَلَا وَاللَّهِ نُسْلِمُهُ لِقَوْمٍ وَلَمَّا نَقْدِ فِيهِمْ بِالسُّيُوفِ means by Allah جل, we will not hand him over to disbelievers. We have not fought, uh, uh, we haven't uh, uh, yet fought a decisive battle against them with our swords. Subhanallah. So, today uh, Hamza radiallahu ta'ala announced his uh, uh, believe that he is a Muslim, Abu Bakr radiallahu ta'ala insisted that they all go together with the Prophet to the Masjid al-Haram and invite everyone present there to Islam. Allah Akbar. So the Prophet Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa said, Oh Abu Bakr, we are yet too few in numbers. When Abu Bakr insisted further, the Prophet Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa and his companion left Darul Arqam and went to the Haram. When they arrived at Kaaba, Abu Bakr began to invite the people to believe in Allah and His Messenger, Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. So the idolaters all uh, began to walk over Abu Bakr and the Muslims and beat them brutally. Utba stood uh, on Abu Bakr radiallahu ta'ala and began to trample him. He kicked his face with uh, his, uh, Allah, his iron uh, soled shoes. Sayyidina Abu Bakr was bleeding all over the sons of time. The tribe of Abu Bakr finally managed to rescue him from the hands of idolaters. The sons of uh, time, uh, you know, the, the, the clan from the, the people of time, because Abu Bakr belonged to that clan, uh, clan took uh, the unconscious Abu Bakr to his house, thinking that he was going to die. They returned to the Masjid uh, Al Haram and cried out and yelling out. Uh, to those uh, present and they say that if Abu Bakr dies by Allah, we will kill Utba. Abu Bakr finally gained his consciousness back towards the evening and first words SubhanAllah came out of his lips were Ma fa'ala Rasulullah Is the messenger of Allah well? SubhanAllah, this is the first thing he said. Then his uh, mother Umar Khair Salama binti in the Sahar said to him, Oh my beloved son, O Abu Bakr, will you not eat or drink something? Abu Bakr continued asking, after he had not heard any of her words. 
What is the messenger of Allah doing? How is he? Allah Akbar. And Umul Khair, the mother, said, My son, I have no news of uh, your friend Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Then Sayyidina Abu Bakr sent his mother to Umm Jamil. Umm Jamil, uh, her name is Fatima bint Khattab. She is the sister of Sayyidina, uh, uh, Sayyidina Umar ibn al-Khattab radiallahu ta'ala. So don't get confused with other Umm Jamil, Arwa bint Harb, who is the wife of Abu Lahab, the, the sister of Abu Sufyan. She is different. So Sayyidina Abu Bakr sent uh, his mother to Umm Jamil, Fatima bint Khattab, a Muslim woman, to obtain some news about the Prophet Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa When Umm Jamil arrived uh, and saw Abu Bakr in this uh, uh, in the state he was uh, uh, in, she uh, could not restrain herself and cried out, Wallahi, I swear by Allah that those who did this to you are sinners and unbelievers. May Allah punish them for what they have done to you, o Abu Bakr. Then she informed Abu Bakr that Allah's messenger is safe and he is in Darul Arqam. Then Abu Bakr said, I swear by Allah that I will not eat and, and 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 drink until I have seen the messenger of Allah Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu Ta'ala Alaihi Wasallam when the tension had died down and everybody had returned to their houses Sayyidina Abu Bakr Siddiq Radiallahu Ta'ala and his mother and uh, Umm Jamil held on to Abu Bakr's arms and took him to the Prophet Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam as soon as he saw the the beautiful shining face of the Prophet Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu Ta'ala Alaihi Wasallam Abu Bakr felt the blessed niece of the Prophet ﷺ. This state of his dear friend greatly moved the Prophet ﷺ. And then Abu Bakr said, Bi Abi Anta wa Miya Rasulullah sallallahu ta'ala wa sallama. My mother, may my mother and uh, and father be a sacrifice for you, O Rasulullah sallallahu I feel no pain, Ya Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala wa sallam. That lowly, you know, uh, sinner, maltreated me that's all then he asked Allah's messenger to pray for his mother to be guided as a result of uh, his uh, uh, dua his prayer of the, of the, of the for Abu Bakr's honorable mother also become uh, Muslim but his father came into Islam after Fatih Makkah subhanallah so inshallah we'll be talking about uh, there are so many things, uh, inshallah, I'm going to go quick. I just want to go in some details and learn uh, more about the Prophet Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and the Sahaba and Sayyidina Abu Bakr Subhanallah. And, uh, and uh, inshallah, we'll talk about uh, the Abyssinian uh, uh, migration, means Hijratul Habasha, and uh, because of the uh, atrocities of uh, this Kuffar, the, some of the Muslim uh, uh, migrated to uh, Habasha and they were treated very... Uh, beautifully by the king his name was uh, Negus in Arabic it's called Najashi inshallah we'll talk and there is a beautiful talk between Najashi and Jafar ibn Tayyar that we must learn and that's how we should be presenting Islam to the to the non-Muslims uh, subhanallah so Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala Muhammad wa barik wa salim may Allah bless us and may Allah give us the love of the Prophet Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu Ta'ala alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam, I see very few, inshallah, that's not, uh, I'm not complaining, alhamdulillah, I see there are people joining, alhamdulillah, may Allah uh, uh, give us the love of the Prophet Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, his family, his uh, uh, companions, and give us the love of Islam, and make us uh, the true uh, Sunni, true uh, follower, the follower of the Sunnah of the Prophet Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam, may Allah increase our uh, iman and uh, give us the sincerity in our amal, um, in our deeds. Ameen ya Rabbil Alameen, bijah al Nabi Alameen, our friend Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam, ma alayna illa al-balaq, walhamdulillahi rabbil alameen, subhanakallahu bihamdulillahi rabbil alameen, assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.